guys. Uh, thanks for being here and just um, uh, good start for the Huskers and we're excited. We feel like this is a really big week for us. We need to really make some improvements in some of the things we've seen in our first two ball games and uh, continue to really improve and, and have a great week. Yeah, I think um, one of the big things is we want to take care of the basketball a little better than we have in our first few um, opportunities against an opponent other than our scout team. And, and um, you know, I think it's something that um, we've given up a few too many points off turnovers. We uh, fouled a little bit too much on the road at Wyoming the other day. So being able to defend without fouling and, and taking care of the ball will be um, on the front of our focus. Um, I think uh, the first couple of ball games, we've had some um, uh, defensive intensity that's kind of been sparked a little bit from uh, Natalie Potts, I think, a freshman that's really come in and given a, a great spark to our team and, and made a lot of deflections and plays on the defensive side of the ball. And, and so that's something that you love to see out of your newcomers. And um, uh, I've been excited about the way that we were able to um, – get paint touches and find a way to put points on the board at a really stingy defense at Wyoming, um, even when we didn't shoot the three-point shot particularly well. Do you have to guard against or remind your team like, hey, Craig is at the end of the week, folks want to be in the game, this performance? Yeah, I mean, um, I guess the, the big thing for our team is just all year, you know, we've just been trying to stay locked in. Our, our motto for this year is, in the work, the win, and just every single day trying to um, stay locked into trying to win the day. And so um, for us, it's, it's, it's about trying to have a great practice today and, and not necessarily focus on even tomorrow's Elkhorn State game, just how are we getting better at all the little things today and how are we going to use that to then better ourselves tomorrow and um, just staying locked in in the present. And that's something that we're always going to be guarding. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've really been trying to keep our focus on um, preparing for Alcorn State, which is tomorrow. And so I haven't um, done a deep dive into what's different about Creighton's team this year. Just um, uh, we do know for sure that the roster is very familiar. And I think um, both programs, both coaching staffs are incredibly familiar with each other. So um, just that in-state rivalry game that um, that I think our kids have, have come to love. Did you, was there something about last season's game that just seemed different or out of character for your team, the way they responded up there, or things that you don't think you'll see again? Well, I think that, you know, last year early in the season, and as as is, you know, kind of every year early in the season, but we were, we were dealing with some things just, um, you know, trying to adjust with, Sam Hybe being out and just some new kind of, um, there's always those injuries that you have to adjust to and, and um, find a way. And, you know, we've been still doing that this year with um, Allison Widener going down and, and Maddie Kroll being out these first couple of ball games and everybody's having to pick up just different roles and different um, kind of identities and bring something different to the table. And, and so um, that'll be, I think that's um, something we dealt with one year ago and something we're still dealing with here at this point in the season as well. How is Maddie coming along? Yeah, I think uh, just every day she just gets a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. So it's kind of a day-to-day -day situation, but um, I'm pleased with the progress she's making. Some of us haven't gotten to talk to you since signing day. When you look back at Britt, I mean, how much pressure, pressure the last few years have you personally felt to get her and can you briefly kind of take us through when it happened? Yeah, um, honestly, I just feel really excited about the opportunity to coach her because I've known firsthand for many years just what a, a tremendous young lady, what a tremendous um, competitor she is. And um, 
just have, have been able to watch her play soccer against my daughter and basketball with with her and um you know she's a fabulous softball player I mean she's just a great athlete in almost everything she does but um just has tremendous character and um so just feels great to to um finally have her signed as a husker and and just excited for the future of our program with that um with that news and um we we knew that you know there are a lot of really really good programs that she had the option to go to and and really kind of came down to that last weekend right before signing date and and um I found out on Friday night and um, she announced on Sunday afternoon. So just kind of an exciting weekend for us heading into the signing week. Speaking of your own, your own daughter, obviously she has a senior year left to, to play. Like she, you probably had no recruit who knows the program better than she does, right? Yeah. So do you, like, does she give you thoughts or insight about this current team and how she views things? I mean, she's a pretty smart player. Like, do you, do you talk to her about what's going on with this team now? Oh yeah, um, we've had lots of conversations. Um, just you know, she's she's not your average. I mean, when when Kennedy was seven years old, she was watching film over my shoulder, and she said, "Why'd they switch to zone defense?" And um, you know, not not a typical seven year old to even notice that someone had switched to zone, much less that it was not a good decision to make. Um, but uh, she just she's been around this team, this program. She loves. Um, the girls that are in it. She she wants success for them. She is able to come and watch practice on a regular basis. Um, she's just around it. She has opinions. She has thoughts. She's a very high IQ basketball player. And, and um, so, yeah, there's, there's no doubt that we have conversations, many, um, at the dinner table and, and, you know, even on the plane um, heading back before we t take off to come back from Wyoming. She's got thoughts about things, you know, timeouts she thought I should have taken and, and uh, the such. Do you ever disagree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more, more with my husband than um, with Kennedy, but, um, but certainly, yes, there's lots of opinions, and, and um, I love it that way. I just i have never wanted to be one that's surrounded by yes people, but people that are going to look at things differently and help challenge me and help me grow as a, as a coach, and trust me, um, between my dad and my husband and two daughters, they they like to do that. Have you put much thought into like how you're going to coach her next year? Because it's such foreign territory next year. Do you feel like you have to be maybe harder on her to set an example or just nameless, faceless players? Well, we've put a lot of thought into it, and there were um, many, many conversations because she had some other really good options as well to to continue her um, collegiate career, and and um, I really wanted to make sure that. She had an opportunity to walk through that recruiting process and, and make decisions um, based on just what was best for her and not just the passion that she has for Husker women's basketball. And, and um, so we talked about the things that are going to be fun about it, you know, us getting to share some really cool experiences, but the things that are going to be hard about it too. And, um, and there's, there's some challenges to that. And, and part of it is I probably will be a little harder on her than I am everybody else. And um, that's, that's kind of how my dad was to me when he was my coach. And, and um, I think it's kind of a natural instinct is just um, the expectations will be higher. Yeah, I mean, we're still going to iron that out and kind of, um, you know, fortunately, I have a, a a pretty good relationship with Rhonda. We've been able to sit down and kind of talk through kind of month by month and year by year and, and just kind of um, make the decisions as we go as each team kind of sees her um, fitting in. And and so I think um, she's she's always been better when she's busy and, and uh, she's going to continue to be busy. I think probably it helps a little bit. Yeah, I think um, we've learned a lot of things through uh, the first year and a half or so with, with Maggie and um, uh, just being able to watch her. You know, she's a really special, uh, unique uh, circumstance because she just has the ability to manage um, really, really well. And so, um, you know, hopefully Kennedy can really look at that and learn from, from the things that Maggie is doing well. 
this week, what do you want to see your team improve on? Are there specific things that you feel like you really need to make sure you make progress in? Yeah, I'm, um, I mentioned a little bit earlier about just taking care of the basketball, something that we've been a little too free with the ball, I feel like, and, and that's something we've, we've wanted to um, corral in a little bit. And, and um, defending without fouling, you know, be, being able to continue to have the intensity that we've had in the first couple of ball games, but to do that with, um, without giving up um, so many opportunities or putting ourselves in the bonus so quickly where our opponent is shooting free throws so early into quarters and so that's something that we're really going to focus on um, we fully expect tomorrow that we're going to see some mixed defenses so trying to continue to improve on um, zone and man and continuing to play with pace um, yeah <laughs> their whole team is just really um, multi-dimensional um, is highly skilled I think M Morgan Molly Emma Ronzik, they can post you up. You know, they're very, very crafty around the rim, and they also can score from behind the arc. You know, just um, they get shots off really quickly. They're very creative. Um, they can handle the basketball. They, you know, just do a lot of a lot of things well. And so to have multiple players on one roster with those unique skill sets is. Um, it's it's one of the reasons why they're a top 25 team in the country and and just so hard to defend. You mentioned uh, Natalie as a player. She's been a big, pretty big part of like full court press. How do you see her kind of step into those responsibilities? She's had a lot of questions. Yeah, um, Natalie's um, really confident. That's something she's brought to the table. She plays with a motor. Um, she's active all the time and and really aggressive. She has a mindset of going to make plays. She's not just trying to kind of be there to be there. She's going to go make plays. And so um, sometimes just working on a little bit of discipline um, with her, but um, but certainly we, we do not want to tame that because um, it's it's really been a huge bright spark for our team and, and I love the mentality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The state championship game that she um, won her senior year was her 100th uh, win in a row for high school. So just a really storied high school program, place for an outstanding high school coach and has had a lot of success and knows how to win. Anything else for Coach Williams? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.